first creative collision is underway. In London, Rune and Jerry made plans for their skatable sculpture, taking Rune's years of professional skating into account. They then went out to Budapest to see if their sketches would suit the mammoth burnyard space. Wow. Coming down here to Budapest, check out the space and meeting up with M-City and just kind of getting everyone together. Now we're on the road with M-City, whose murals have transformed landscapes across the globe. His handcrafted stencils will form the backdrop of Burnyard, the very first creative collision between Formula One and graffiti in Barcelona. My name is Marius Varas. My street name is M-City. I live in Gdańsk. It's a city in Poland on the north, on the Baltic coast. And it's my favorite place. While Rune and Jerry reworked their designs for the Burnyard site, M-City arrives to test out some ideas of his own. So what we're thinking of doing is creating a sculpture, almost like a, a loop, uh, you know, Rune will skate around it, as high as we can get it. I know he's uh, mainly known for his stencil art, and he's amazing. Street art is something that I love very much, but I've not really seen in action because it's always there when I pass it. When I was a child, I always painted something on the walls, on the tables, everywhere. This place, it's one of the amazing places when I've been. This is huge, it's massive. It's like Disneyland for the guys like me. If you want to do something, you can do it. M-City heads to Barcelona, where Kimi and the Lotus Formula One team are preparing for the Spanish Grand Prix. Tonight, a mini Burnyard event is being staged in the city's former shipyard district, where Formula One fans and art lovers will gather to watch M-City work his magic on a Lotus Formula One team car. It's very exciting to paint uh, that kind of car. I never painted Formula 1 car, so it's something new for me. Before M-City gets to work on the car, he meets up with local artist in Yoko, who'll be painting with him. They visit in Yoko's favorite paint shop to stock up on supplies. Four blacks. Give me two of this. This is for the lips. Mm -hmm. It's a lipstick. <laughs> M-City and Inyoko start on the car, applying the base layer before M-City overlays his stencils. The designs have been inspired by the mechanics of the car itself. I'm very happy to paint Formula One car. I think it's a good connection between art and music and Formula One. I'm really excited that Lotus team and Kimi arrived to paint something together. The finished car will eventually make its way to Burnyard in Budapest, where Kimi and the Lotus Formula One team will meet the rest of the Burn Collective. Moments before Mini Burnyard opens to the public, M-City meets Kimi and reveals his Formula One creation. The Iceman adds the final touch. I mean, everybody has to be very creative in Formula One because obviously you have to design new things and try to stay ahead of uh, ahead of everybody else and uh, all the teams. So we have a lot of smart people coming up with the new new stuff, and it's always exciting. As the sun sets over Barcelona, it's time to leave the bustling mini Burnyard event now in full swing. There'll be plenty more of M-City and Kimi at the main event in Budapest.
Next time, we put Avicii's skills to the test to see if he can turn the adrenaline of Formula One racing into a thrilling dance track. Is he up for the challenge?